Hi everyone, it's uh, Eugene Lichio. Today I'd like to show you how you can use the clipping boxes in Ferro Scene 5.1. And I've got a uh, loaded, just a single scan here, just for simplicity. But I'm going to go into the 3D view and show you what I've got here. And I'll go to a top down view, like so. So I've got a scan of a roadway. And what I'd like to do is use the clipping box to help me clean up some of this uh, traffic and noise. So this was a really busy highway and uh, a big mess. So uh, I'm going to show you a, a couple of things and uh, some things to watch out for that got me when I started using the uh, clipping box. So you'll see there's a button up here for clipping boxes and so this is new in 5.1 so I'm just going to click this button and oh I get an error saying or just a warning saying hey uh, clipping box is not going to work uh, in this particular view. Well you need to convert the uh, scan, the raw scan to a scan point cloud in Ferrocene. So, okay, I'll say, yeah, no problem. And it gives me a clipping box, and guess what? Well, nothing looks like it's working here. Well, the reason for that is, is I have, in fact, converted this scan to a scan point cloud. And if you go to Operations, Point Cloud Tools, you'll see that this is how you would normally convert it over if you haven't done so already, but it's deselected because I already have it. Uh, what you need to do is deselect or unload the scan. So if you go to Load It, go to Unload It, you'll see that uh, that will change here in a moment. So um, at the moment I have just the scan point cloud. I have the, the, the raw scan deselected and you can see that it's working. So now there's some different options I can use. There is a clipping box toolbar. If you don't have the toolbar just go to view, go to toolbars and go to clipping box toolbar and it will show up. And this will give you access to the manipulators and such. So what I want to do here is I'm going to increase the size of this thing to go across the roadway like about that. I need a little bit more. Let me go back a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to go to orthographic view uh, for now. And so if I go to the visibility, I'll go to orthographic, and I'll go top down view, and you can see. So now it's nice and straight. And I'm going to rotate this as well. So I'm just going to rotate it so it lines up with the road like that. And I will also scale it again. So I don't want anything outside the white line there. And there. Now if I go to the front, uh, go a little bit higher, and I'm going to just raise the bottom of the clipping box just so, just so it gets rid of the roadway right about here, like that. Okay, so basically what I have here is just all the noise above the roadway. Now, because there's a camber in the road, uh, there's obviously going to be a little bit of noise that I haven't selected on the outer edges but you know you get you get the point of this I think so in order to make a selection now uh, if I right click on the clipping box there's an option here for 3D selection using active clipping boxes so I'm gonna do that and it will go through and just select all the points just like that and then delete uh, delete is pretty simple just right click off the uh, clipping box and you'll see here current selection delete and there you go, it has been deleted. So if I select the clipping box again and I disable it, you'll see that in my scan, I have a section here with nothing in it. And I can also uh, hide the clipping box as well. And you see that it's, it's clean right here. So uh, that's one way that you can use it to clean the roadway surface. Now, if you have a, a very, very straight roadway surface, I have a relatively straight roadway surface, um, you could have it just uh, highlight the uh, entire road surface and then just clean all the noise at once and I could show you that uh, why not so I'll do that I'm gonna go back to my top view and I'm gonna zoom out here and I'll take this clipping box and I'm gonna use the scale tools here and I'm just gonna stretch this out pretty far along the road and I'll do the same up here like that uh, that's a good chunk of it anyway like that and let's see now obviously I'm going to need to uh, raise up the bottom because I'm selecting a lot of the roads so I'm going to go up 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 oops is it enabled oh okay I had to enable it that's what it was so I've got a whole bunch of noise here uh, I'm going to go back to the perspective view okay like that let me go down a bit okay so I've got a whole bunch here I'm going to again right click 3D selection. It will go through and select all the points. I'm going to click off of the clip box current selection, delete, and I'm going to disable the box. 
and I'm also going to hide it. And you'll see that my point cloud on my scan has been uh, pretty well cleaned of all the noise on the surface. So that's pretty much it, and I uh, hope you have learned a little something. Thanks.